All right, guys, welcome back to some more MLB Nightings 22. And before we get this one started, I just want to remind you guys that we're going to be doing a $500 giveaway for 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys so much. And so we're going to be choosing one lucky winner that will receive $250. And then they'll be able to choose a charity for me to donate another $250 to. And then this will be going through Gleam. You can get up to five entries via the link below. And so we will be choosing the winner during the pack opening live stream this Thursday, April 14th. It'll start at 7 p.m. We will choose the winner after 8 p.m. So then during that stream, if you guys haven't entered already, I'll give you guys that time to do it. So hope you guys are there. Super excited to be able to do this. And so getting into today's video, we're going to be upgrading some players with some cards we got from the last pack opening. And then I'll be showing you the triple gold skill set that I got on my signature grand doll. We'll do some special training on him as well. And then on top of that, we're going to go back and retrain some players in the lineup. And then also we'll be working on one of our legend starting pitchers as well. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so first things first, I'm not going to make you guys wait to see the skill set that we got on Grand Doll. I'm pretty happy with it, and it just came from a normal skill change ticket while I was doing it off stream. I didn't think we would get anything. This is the set we ended up getting on them. Charisma, Batting Machine, and Spotlight level 6. And I'm cool with this because they're all usable gold skills. Pretty good. Batting Machine's a little weaker, but having it as a third skill is pretty good. And it's high levels at level 5. Sadly, it's not a triple 3. I wish it was. But it'll still work. And with I being a little bit lower with the train on this card as well, Batting Machine should help a little bit with that also. So let's go ahead and do some special training on them. All right, so we already have Grandal at level 2 special training, but we got some more cards to use and some special training XP as well. Go ahead and get this thing going. I'm thinking we can probably get him maybe to level four. I'm I'm not sure though. We'll see. We'll see. So this next one should get him to level three. There we go. And we still have lots of golds and some diamonds left as well. So that'll get him contact plus two, which is the second spot. I is the third, so that'll get plus four in terms of once we have a black diamond. And sorry guys, I meant to say power because once you hit start, it changes the stat to the other one, which now when we get to level four, it'll do contact plus two. Let's go ahead and use the rest of our silvers and start using some golds and see if we can get to level four. And we have some special training XP right there. Okay, and so we're at 72%. We should be able to get to level four on this. Let's go ahead and just auto select everything. That's some diamond special training XP. So we'll be almost to level five. We'll be over halfway. Perfect. Once we get to level six, we'll get the level six skills to go do diamond. Okay, so we got contact plus two on that level right there. And now we have contact plus four and power plus four. Once we get to level six, we'll be able to get our gold level six skills to diamond level seven. And with having spotlight and charisma at level six, I think we'll probably go spotlight level eight. Once we get into black diamond, we, we can get our level eight skill. All righty, before we get into the upgrading session, I want to let you guys know I have not forgotten about legend starting pitchers, Tian and Catfish Hunter. We will be working on one of them today, which will be Catfish. He has the better overall basic stats in terms of location. Um, stamina is a little bit lower and it has higher fastball and break. So we'll be working on him today. We'll get him to level 20 and finish his train to level 17 because that's probably who I'm going to start working on next since we didn't get a good Supreme player, in my opinion, and young. We're looking for Babe or Mantle. So if we get another GI, that might be what we do. We'll throw him in the rotation. Having about three or four SIGs and a legend or two in the rotation is perfect. So we'll start working on him. Let's go ahead and get an upgrading session. So we do have a few players we can potentially upgrade before we work on the legend Catfish Hunter. And we have Judge, Pollock, and Stripling. We'll start with Judge. I believe it's a bronze. Yes. Let's see if we can get him to level 18 on the bench. And that is not successful. I didn't think it would. Bronzes don't work as much at the higher levels you get, obviously. Let's work on Pollock now. Actually, I want to work on Stripling first. We got it silver there. Hopefully this works because I care about him more than Pollock. And that works. There we go. So we can finally get him to level 12. We really need to start getting some more Stripling cards because he's a pretty darn good card. So let's go ahead and work on Pollock. Can we get him to level 18? We might be able to. I don't know for sure, though. And that does not work. So only one that worked was Stripling. But now let's go ahead and work on getting Catfish Hunter to level 20 and that is not the right player that is verdugo sorry i don't want you get to get you there all, all already there we go we got five of these we're gonna have to use upgrade tickets to get into level 20 since he's a legend chances of us pulling another catfish hunter why would i use another legend on that as well i don't really know i doubt we ever pull another catfish hunter i hope we don't maybe i just jinxed myself but either which way i want to start working on one of these legends and it's going to be catfish we'll try and get him we'll eventually get him to diamond with the gi probably and then we'll try and get him to Black Diamond, get a good set on him with a Black uh, Legend skill. And then uh, he can be pretty darn good because of the triple threes. So last one here, and he'll be level 20. And then we'll finish his train through level 17, like I said. So there he is. Finally, we still have eight upgrade tickets left. And we don't have really anyone else to work on right now. So might as well start working on one of our Legends. Okay, so first up for this training session, let's go ahead and work on Stripling and getting him to level 12. 
Hopefully we can keep this good, well, decent train going um, through 12 levels. Let's see. Train 10 times. He does have the set setup man and finesse pitcher, a decent set, not the best set ever with not having a third skill, but I'll take it. All right, so there's a success. We got one to stamina. I don't like seeing that and two to fast, one to fastball and one to break. Not liking that too much. Let's see if we can get some more location in below, please. All right, so finally another success and that was just brutal right there. We got plus three to stamina total. We went more to the right, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to get some more velo. We'll see. We'll keep going a little bit on this. We only have five stamina. The max I'll go is six. We'll see how this finishes off. The more levels we can go. Not ideal, though. I do not like seeing this train the way it went today. So, And so now let's go ahead and work on Legend Catfish Hunter and getting him to level 17. We'll try and get a good train. We'll use some level reset tickets if we have to. This is it so far. Not terrible. And then eventually we'll get them to diamond, get some skills, and use amp tickets. And then after that, we will be retraining Dusty Baker and Corey Seeger as well, trying to get less to the right. So let's go ahead and do train 10 times on him. Hopefully we get more successes. Stripling took a little while. He used, I think, almost 25 or 30 times to get two levels. And I do not like seeing that. That is exactly what I did not want to see. And why are we doing that? Why are we going plus one stamina, plus one fastball, plus one break? That is the last thing I wanted to see. I don't even know if I want to use that at that point. We'll keep going a little bit till we get past plus six, but that's that's aggravating. All right, so this is what we got through level 17 on that train, and we got plus one stamina on the last one. I'm not liking this either because this is a card we could potentially get below number one and location number two and still have a finesse bonus. So I'm going to try and get finesse on them as well, see what legend skill we get. Maybe we get control master or something like that. This is also a card I want to try and get dominant pitcher or fireballer on as well because of the low velo. So we're going to go back, we're going to retrain, and then I'll show you guys the train that I stick with through level 17 on this card. All right, so after a little while, we finally got a train that I'm sticking with on Hunter, at least for now. We got 12 to location, 11 to velo, 5 to stamina, 12 to fastball, and 8 to break. We're delighted to see fastball and break switch because then maybe we could have pushed for velo being number one, but we're definitely going to have to make location number one now. And so I put this into my um, amp ticket calculator. If we get a perfect GI, if we go... Two to Velo and seven location, we will have the plus 15 bonus for Finesse. So we have to get a perfect GI, or if we have a different GI, maybe it could still work out that way, but it has to be perfect to be able to get that 15. We have no any, we have no leeway. So we'll see how that works. We obviously are a little bit away from getting him to Diamond, work on that stuff. So we'll keep this for now, but we'll see what we have to do down the road. All right, and so next up, we're gonna be retraining Dusty Baker. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but we just had so many people to work on that it's just not been worth it for me to go back, and he's been doing okay. But we're gonna be trying to get this to 14 or under, ideally 12 or under on this card since I'm doing a retrain session now. We have 15, the max I'll ever really wanna go, especially on a SIG, is 14. We got this, but it was at a time where I didn't have a lot of reset tickets. We're working with some now. Let's go ahead and retrain this card and try to get something better. I feel pretty good after that Grand Doll train, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see how we do. This might take a little bit, guys. So that's a good start right there. We got two to fielding, that's beautiful. All right, two to fielding again, looking really good, really strong start. And I'll show you guys what we finished through level 17 on this card. Okay, so after about 50 reset tickets and almost 7 million points, we finally got a 12 or lower to the right train on Baker. We got nine to contact, 16 to power, 11 to eye, four to speed, eight to field. I wish speed and field were switched, but either which way, if we were to eventually get barreled up on this card, we still have the bonus. So I'm thinking we're gonna go to three to eye to get that to 14. We'll go four to contact to get that to 13, then we'll go two to power to get that to 18. So let's go ahead and do that with the amp tickets. All right, so the amp tickets we're gonna use, we're gonna use two plus two contact, one power. We have six of those, and we'll use a plus three eye. We have three of those, so let's go ahead and do this first. Boom, and gosh, there's nothing I dread more or despise more than having to train a batter in this game. They take so long, it's just unbelievable trying to get that speed and field. Sometimes it does, that's what I found. I don't know about you guys, but man, I'm so glad I'm finally done. And yes, here we go. That'll get that to 14i. That'll be number two. Finally, finally, we at least got a 12 or under train, which I was not taking anything less than 12 or more than 12. And there we go. That's the train we got on it. So we got 130i, 134 contact, 145 power right there. And that is the train. Finally, I'm okay with that. I want to try and get power high. Whew. Okay, and so I said I was going to retrain Seeger, but after recording for almost two and a half hours, and I feel like I'm going to go cross-eyed after looking at the screen for that long with the trains and stuff, I don't think I can do it anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to play a game of arcade mode, and then that's going to end it for this video. We'll work on Seeger in another video. I just, I can't do any more training right now. <laughs>
Okay, so here we go. We got all the bonuses and we're facing Cole today and he's been an absolute pain this week. Our highest 2.7 million. We're in gold one still, but man, his curveballs and changeups are nasty. His fastball comes in a little hotter than uh, normal arcade modes as well. And then the cur the changeup is just disgusting. The curveball comes in a little hotter too, but it's not as bad. If there's one pitch I could ban, it would be the changeup. The curveballs, I can tell a little bit easier. When dudes are throwing 108, 109, like I say, every video, and then a changeup comes in, that's slow. And it looks like a fastball out the hand. It's just, it should be illegal. It should be banned. I don't know if you guys are with me, but uh, let's start a petition to ban changeups in arcade mode. I'm sure if uh, if we do that, we can at least make our voices heard, right? And uh, yeah, so that those changeups came in, and then when they throw three or four changeups in a row, I honestly, I would since I'm playing on my PC, I honestly just want to throw my PC out the window. But when I'm playing on my phone, just want to throw my phone out the window. That just stopped on the changeup, dude. You already got me probably below two. So, I mean, come on. We got four bonus balls. We might be able to get two million, which is what I at least wanted to get in this gameplay. We're not going to break our high score. I don't know how I got that high. So, I think we might be able to. Come on. Don't jinx it, but that's a good. All right. At least it's still out. 500 feet. Okay. We need 150,000 with two more home runs, which means we have to get at least like 450 or higher, I think. All right. So, we need 43,000 points. This just has to be a home run. Cool. Well, at least hit two million, I believe. That was my goal for this gameplay. I didn't think I'd break it. Cool. 2.036 million. That's fine. Still in gold one right here. We'll see where it finished. It's Saturday when I'm recording this. Not, not a terrible gameplay. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time.